Hello guys, yesterday on this channel there was a quick review of Laravel Translations UI package. In this video I want to explain how it works and this will be a lesson, a teardown, kind of a review of live wire components. So when you visit the Translations UI dashboard, when you click a new language, there's a model to choose a language and to save that or cancel. This is all done with Laravel Livewire and a few more packages, Wire UI and wire elements model. So all of that in this video. So we start with the package structure and this will be kind of a lesson for you that packages in Laravel are often kind of a mini application. So you can go to GitHub of the packages and analyze their code. It's not that different from any Laravel application you would analyze just with a few like service providers and stuff like that to transform it into a package. But generally, if you take a look at this tree, it does look like a typical Laravel application. And here you have routes, routes web, like it would be Laravel application. And there's one controller we will be talking about, translation controller. Again, a typical Laravel controller. You don't need to know how to create packages to understand this. So this all starts with the dashboard, which loads translations index view blade. So no live wire here yet, but in the index blade, we have this. So if there is at least one language installed and there is a list of languages installed by default in this package, then it loads live wire. So the translations list, this one is live wire component. If you haven't worked with live wire at all, it is a package that helps you with dynamic elements on the page without writing JavaScript. I have a course on my Laravel daily comp for the beginners of live wire. So you can take a look at that. I will link that in the description below. So this package requires live wire. And not only that in composer JSON of that package, we find this live wire itself. And then two things we will be talking about in this video in a minute those two model and wire UI for the notifications. But first live wire. So if we get back to the index blade, there's translations list, which is actually two files translations list live wire component, this one, which renders the view of translation list here. And if we open that translations list blade here, there is a list of translations. And what is live wire used here for what is the dynamic part? Why live wire first the search. So if we go back to the visual thing, the search actually is interactive. So you can search for African language and then it's not on the list. So this is powered by live wire with wire model search. And then in translations list, get translations is the private or public method inside of that component. And here we have this search, which then is used to find the languages by name or by code. So that's one dynamic thing of Livewire. And then let's take a look at this new language. What happens in here? Again, go back to the blade file of Livewire and we have this wire click emit open model. And this comes from external package on top of Livewire, pretty well known and popular wire elements model. So to create any model in your application, it's just enough to have live wire component for that extends model component. And then opening the model is as follows emit open model the model title name and then you may add more parameters so this is exactly what is happening here open model translation ui create translation model that create translation model you can find it in app http live wire models create translation here it extends model component a few properties so width for example messages for the validation rules pretty typical live wire thing. And then when you want to create the language, then this happens validation, which actually reuses those two above. And then saving of the data happens translation, adding the phrases, and then emitting the event translations created, which actually refreshes the table. So we can take a look translations created in the translations list. It is here translation created refresh, which means it would refresh the table. After all is done, it's closing the model. And then also there's notification thing. So I will show you visually what happens and then look at the screen for notification. So let's select any language, add a language, the table is refreshed, and then here translation created successfully. So this is powered by another tool, this notification success is powered by this thing, wire UI with live wire dash wire UI.com, which has quite a few components and features. So if we go to get started, one of the features is notifications. 
So after you install that package, you can have LiveWire notification, which you can use like this. Import actions trade and then call this notification error or this notification success, however you want. And this is exactly what is happening here. This notification success and at the top of that LiveWire component, we have use actions from Wire UI trades. So this is exactly what I wanted to show you in this video, the combination of three tools to make that dynamic behavior. Livewire to power all of that, then model window, and then notification. I think it's a quite good user experience visually. So if you want to create something similar, you can take a look at the source code of that Laravel translations UI package yourself. The link will be in the description below, as well as the course about Livewire. Also, I have a separate Livewire kit set of components already ready-made with Livewire. At the moment, there's 41 components and I'm waiting in 2023 for Livewire 3 to be released and recreate those components for version 3. And you can browse all of those and buy them for $39 for all of them. It's a one-time purchase, no subscription, nothing, just $39 for 41 components, all at livewirekit.com. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.